Well, hello again. It is May 13th and we're in the Old Testament, 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 1 through 25. And here we will read. Now it came about in those days that the Philistines gathered their army, their armed camps for war to fight against Israel. And Achish said to David, Know assuredly that you will go out with me in the camp, you and your men. David said to Achish, Very well, you shall know what your servant can do. So Achish said to David, Very well, I will make you my bodyguard for life. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel that had lamented him and buried him in Ramah, his own city, and Saul had removed from the land those who were mediums and spirits. So the Philistines gathered together and came and camped in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they camped in Gilboa. When Saul saw the camp of the Philistines, he was afraid and his heart trembled greatly. When Saul inquired by the Lord, the Lord did not answer, either by dreams or by Urim or by prophets. Then Saul said to his servants, Seek for me a woman who was a medium, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman who is a medium at Endor. Endor. Then Saul disguised himself by putting on his other clothes and went, he and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night, and he said, Conjure up for me, please, and bring up for me whom I shall name, who I shall name to you. But the woman said to him, Behold, you know what Saul has done. How he has cut off those who are mediums and spirits from the land. Why are you then laying a snare for my life to bring about my death? Saul vowed to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, no punishment shall come upon you for this thing. Then the woman said, Whom shall I bring up for you? And he said, Bring up Samuel for me. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice. And the woman spoke to Saul, saying, why have you deceived me? For you are Saul. The king said to her, Do not be afraid, but what do you see? And the woman said to Saul, I see a divine being coming up out of the earth. He said to her, What is his form? And she said, An old man is coming up, and he is wrapped with a robe. And Saul knew it, that it was Samuel, and he bowed with his face to the ground and did homage. Then Samuel said to Saul, why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? And Saul answered, I am greatly distressed for the Philistines are waging war against me and God has departed from me and no longer answers me, either through prophets or by dreams. Therefore, I have called you that you may know, make, you may make known to me what I should do. Samuel said, why then do you ask me since the Lord has departed from you and has become your adversary? The Lord has done accordingly as he spoke through me, for the Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, to David. As you did not obey the Lord and did not execute his fierce wrath on Amalek, so the Lord has done this thing to you this day. Moreover, the Lord will also give over Israel along with you into the hands of the Philistines. Therefore, tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. Ouch. Indeed, the Lord will give over the army of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Then Saul immediately fell full length upon the ground and was very afraid because of the words of Samuel. Also, there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no food all day and all night. The woman came to Saul and saw that he was terrified and said to him, Behold, your maidservant has, has obeyed you, and I have taken my life in my hand and have listened to your words which you spoke to me. So now also, please listen to the voice of your maidservant and let me set a piece of bread before you that you may eat and have strength when you go on your way. But he refused and said, I will not eat. However, his servants together with the woman urged him and he listened to them. So he arose from the ground and sat on the bed. The woman had a fattened calf in the house, and she quickly slaughtered it, and she took flour, kneaded it, and baked unleavened bread from it. She brought it before Saul and his servants, and they ate. Then they arose and went away that night. And we will go quickly on to Psalm 61, chapter, verse 1 through 4. And here we read, 
Hear my cry, O God, give heed to my prayer, for the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been a refuge for me, a tower of strength against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings. And then quickly on to Proverbs 16, verse 6. By loving kindness and truth, iniquity is atoned for. And by the fear of the Lord, one keeps away from evil. All right, that is the end of May 13th. Thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.